and for David as well. Visit Lex recently completed a resident sentiment survey in which only 35% of, of the respondents indicated that Lexington has enough attractions. If you could influence the development of a new tourism attraction for Lexington, what would it be? Well, let me give you the two that I'm currently working on. Um, I have been working with the soccer folks because we want soccer, professional soccer, and a sporting club here in Fayette County. You know, the devil's in the details of any of these plans. You can't just go out and get a soccer stadium or a soccer team. It takes a lot of conversation with the partners, which I have been doing. We've been sitting at the table with all those partners, and we're very enthusiastic about the success that they're going to bring here. Secondly is, many of you know, that when I first came into office, I had had my eye on a property at the Kentucky River. And this was a property that I knew the owners wanted to sell, but they didn't just want to sell it to anyone. So I initiated conversations about buying this property on the Kentucky River for canoeing access and kayaking access. Those are big, and people will go to a community where there are river activities. So we closed on the property this summer, and we have the deed in hand, and we are now working on making improvements there so we can have the, the boat ramp and, you know, the proper signage and, you know, um, taking care of that 30-acre piece of the property. And the best news about that is that was paid for through our park acquisition fees, which are paid by the developers in our community. So it's a win-win and will be wonderful. And then, of course, I continue to support our trails, which bring lots of people here. Thank you. So, uh, hoping not to sound like a broken record, I've definitely been pushing for the, uh, the sports complex in, in our town youth sports complex, and I do think it is a little odd to say that uh, the mayor is currently working with them to get that done, when if the mayor had not gotten involved at all, that project would already be underway. Uh, so, again, I think that we need to make sure that we can let people come here and bring those amenities without trying to step in and tell them that the details I care about should be more important than the details the community cares about. As far as the, uh, again, the land on the Kentucky River, I know that Visit Lex uh, and Mary Quinn worked very hard on that project for a long time, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the mayor actually didn't support the zone change which allowed that to be possible in the first place. I can't say that there's a long history with the mayor's actions of supporting these things. But I will say that right now, I have put myself out there on council time and time again in order to make sure that we can bring these amenities to Lexington. I'm putting my own resources into one of those amenities, the park downtown, and I hope to do even more with collaborations in the community to make sure we can draw as many people here as possible. Thank you.